The human body is an extremely complex system. On a daily basis, it reacts and adapts to various stimuli, working to maintain homeostasis. Though many different systems collaborate to regulate every aspect of the body, two major systems are responsible for controlling the body. These are the nervous system and the endocrine system. The endocrine system is characterized by endocrine glands that secrete unique hormones into the blood for a variety of purposes. These hormones help to regulate almost all functions of the body, so when something goes wrong, the respective function is impacted. One major endocrine gland is the pea-sized pituitary gland, which lies inferior to the hypothalamus. The anterior pituitary gland releases many hormones, one of which is growth hormone. When inadequate growth hormone is produced in a person, they experience terminated growth at an early age. This condition of short stature is known as dwarfism. One type, achondroplasia, is characterized by abnormal conversion of cartilage to bone. An individual affected by achondroplastic dwarfism has limbs that stop growing in childhood, though all other bones grow normally. This condition affects one in every 40,000 births worldwide. Males and females are all affected equally, and about 80% of all dwarfs have achondroplasia. In order for the body to function as if it were a normal human, achondroplastic dwarfs must compensate for disruptions to homeostasis caused by the disorder. Since the pituitary gland isn't releasing enough growth hormone, the body compensates for that by allowing cartilage to turn into bone much faster than it would in a normal person. During the formation of bone, mesenchyme condenses into cartilage, which will then form the model of the bone that is about to be formed. Blood vessels then move into the center of the forming bone where osteoblasts settle in. Osteoblasts secrete material that form bone much faster in an achondroplastic individual than a normal person. This means that bones in dwarves stop developing during childhood rather than early adulthood. The ossification of bone occurs much sooner in these individuals, which is why they have a much st shorter stature. Because of a shorter stature, achondroplastic dwarves may experience slow breathing or stops for short periods, which is also known as apnea. Obesity and recurrent ear infections are also more likely to occur. The skeletal system is significantly adjusted due to this disease. Prominent characteristics of an achondroplastic individual include short arms and legs as well as upper arms and thighs, with an average sized trunk, limited range in motion at elbows, an enlarged head, and lastly a prominent forehead. At a young age, achondroplastic individuals may develop a permanent sway of the lower back called lordosis, or an abnormal front-to-back curvature called kyphosis, causing back pain. Spinal stenosis may also occur, where the narrowing of the spinal canal compresses the upper part of the spinal cord, causing pain, tingling, and difficulty walking due to weakness in the legs. Lastly, an uncommon yet serious complication due to achondroplasia is something called hydrocephalus. This causes an increased head size, and other brain abnormalities due to a buildup of fluid in the brain. Genetics are very complicated, but to break it down, here are a few of the main points. Genetics involve DNA. DNA is the blueprint to the individual's existence. DNA makes up everything about yourself, including your hair color, eye color, and skin color. There are about 23,000 genes in our body. You can imagine how many problems that could come from just one gene being defected. Growth plates are key areas in the body where you notice your bones are lengthening from. Growth plates are at the end of each long bone. During childhood, your growth plates, also called epiphyseal plates, are open, allowing bone growth to occur and bone shape to develop. Because growth plates are the weakest places in a growing body, you can injure them very easily. An injury to a growth plate is called a fracture. Along with growth plates come ossification. Ossification is very important because it ossifies or seals off the bone at the growth plate area and turns it into an epiphyseal line. This allows no more growth to occur. If the growth plates ossify too early, you can become shorter than the average person. With this condition, the development of cartilage is disturbed, meaning the bone will then be affected. The bones of the limbs do not grow as long as in a normal person because the cartilage fuses at the growth plate earlier than normal. When a child with achondroplasia begins to walk, they may develop knock knees or bow legs.
The trunk and skull are mostly unaffected, but at the base of the skull it is smaller, which compresses the spinal cord because of the diameter of the spine. Due to the small opening at the base of the skull, fluid flow between the brain and spinal cord is disrupted. There is a difficulty in ovarian stimulation and oocyte retrieval because of the hormone imbalance in the body. Since women who have achondroplasia have a smaller pelvic size, they most likely will need to undergo a cesarean section when giving birth. The reason that they need to have a cesarean section is because people that have achondroplasia have a normal sized head and the baby would not be able to fit through the birth canal and pelvis. Complications that may come up because of a cesarean section would be because of the anesthetic. To make sure it is safe, healthcare providers must use conductive anesthesia, which is a mixture of a local anesthetic and an opiate. The issue with general anesthesia is that in many cases, even in people of normal stature, it can cause an airway obstruction, and in achondroplasia patients who have a narrowed airway, it poses a greater risk. In a normal body, you should have 10 functioning glands that help maintain homeostasis and keep the body in check. Those 10 glands include the pancreas, parathyroid, adrenal glands, thyroid, ovaries, testes, penile glands, thymus, hypothalamus, and pituitary gland. One important gland is the pituitary gland because it secretes GH, which is growth hormone. Your pituitary gland secretes growth hormone more often during childhood, which explains why during puberty you have a growth spurt. With achondroplasia, the growth factor that would normally bind to the receptors on the surface of the cell do not work properly. The protein is then concentrated in the cartilage and nervous system. The hormones in the body of a person with achondroplasia are not always in balance, and the hormones that control weight are not always working properly, causing many achondroplasic dwarfs to become overweight. A normal human body works seemingly effortlessly to maintain homeostasis and keep the body functioning as it should. However, when only a few genes are altered or passed down in an unfortunate pattern, the normality of the body is compromised and disorders occur. A simple disorder affects more systems of the body than you would think, as it constantly works to recreate the homeostasis that the body needs. Luckily, there are many advances and types of technology that allow individuals with achondroplastic dwarfism to lead normal and fulfilling lives.